Hello everyone, me phone here, and I'm Son of Beast. As you all know, that the season of the NBA is officially done for the year. Now it's time to step into the postseason and get started for the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Who will be heading to the second, the championship game of the conference, and in the NBA Finals? Find out. Once this game starts here in the first round, let's get started on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, I'm Payne Fresh here and I'm OJ. And this is the playoffs of the NBA on 2K Sports. That means we only have two games left to remain here in the NBA first round of the Conference quarterfinals of the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference. Right now, we only have one game matchup left in order to win to get in, and the other players will be eliminated of the team. So that means we only have one team left for one last two team lefts in the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference. But right now, we're going to start off with the Eastern Conference first. We have the Cleveland Cavaliers and the New York Knicks. Right now, this has only been a great game as we've seen the Cavaliers since playing with the New York Knicks at their home since Season 4. The last game, it was the New York Knicks that made a win here right over the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've been one of the best teams here since we've never seen them play each other since many years ago. But now, it's their time to get into the game. Well, as we're being said, the New York Knicks have never made it to the playoffs that far since 2021 after a loss against the Atlanta Hawks, which has been the best fifth seed team to make their way in. And for the New York Knicks, they have to find themselves out, and how will they do? Right now, standing by in the commentary we have is Beatphone, along with the other commentary to this game, Test 2, and the third part of a crew is Fan. Right now, we'll be back with the halftime show and, of course, the post-game show. So let's get started. Win or go home for the New York Knicks. And right now, let's get this game on a roll at the Garden. See you all later. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Greetings everyone, here for the tar of the Times Square of New York City. It's Game 6 of the NBA Playoffs. It's part of a game as we are about to be seeing the rematch in between the 4th and 5th seeds. It's tough and we might be seeing who will make it to the second round for this next game. Cavaliers, Knicks, coming up after this. Greetings from Madison Square Garden, Me Phone 4 here along with my broadcasting crew of Test Tube and Fan. This is the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This part of the team is going to be a win or go home for the New York Knicks. Here's how. Brian, Rosie Owen runs in a second round pick out of Villanova, and his father carved out a nine-year journeyman career in the league as well. Jalen said, quote, how hard did he work? Just to get unguaranteed contracts showed me that I have to work ten times harder. Oh, just a fantastic one for Jalen Brunson. Thank you, Ellie. We are the starting group, as right now, the key matchup is in between of Jared Allen and Mitchell Robinson. Now, for this one, if a part of a team, as we noticed there before, Julius Randle was making a lot of great rebounds in this game. He's also along with Evan Mobley. That's Isaac Okora on RJ Barrett. Josh Hart on Donovan Mitchell. And your key matchup is Darius Garland on Jalen Brunson. J.B. Bickerstaff is the head coach for the Cleveland Cavaliers for the career of his effort. This part of the game is about to be happening. I can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, me too. Because this one's going to be a win or go home if they're ready to get this thing on the run. Here the courtesy of the lineups here. All filled up and ready to go here for game number six. Here's Garland covered up by Jalen Brunson. Mobley comes in with the screen. Allen's right over into the baseline, and he makes the first shot of the game. Jalen Allen's got his first bucket of the game. 
Now, for since your last game, he has made a, a tremendous blocks of his game, trying to make out with the run and take it over right towards the line. They're very that good, and you know that Jared Allen was making a great blocks of his game every regular season. He definitely did one of the bestest. I never seen how he does that before. And we got a timeout call by the Cavaliers as Evan Mobley bumped down and on the floor. Oh, this is not that good because Evan Mobley is already on the floor and Victor Staff will have to replace one of the players to get in there. Thanks to Jared Allen, he's well covered up and he is all wounded up and he's out for today's game. Yeah, very shock of a run. It looks like a Desmond Wayne will be checking in and momentarily to take the game here. Replay will be coming in very shortly after the after timeout's been called. Wow, Mitchell Robinson with the block. That's a play on defense. That's how you want to make that one a good start. RJ Barrett right over to Rob Mitchell Robinson. He's passes off to Josh Park. In the middle, Mitchell Robinson over Allen. Slamming with a D. Trying to wait for her to clear out. Now they're back in business. Here's Josh Park. With a two, the pointer, foul, and he's off the target gear. First foul is called on Darius Garland. Now being sports sports still foul, first team foul for Cleveland Cavaliers. Right now, Josh Hart's at the free throw line shooting two. will have his first free throw percentage for the New York Knicks. I wonder what Josh Hart does. He may be under thinking. His most estimate team has a lot of it to break on and bring on the team. Every court he does, he may have been having an absolute but an excellent performance of this run. He can definitely be good for the next person that can bring on with the team to the next round. He hits the first free throw. Last time for the regular season, it was 9.8 percentage of his uh, only a career effort of his shot, and only 53 percentage for the rebounding effort on his percentage. The better it gets played, and we know that it's very good for Josh Hart to keep that one in there. And he hits the second free throw. Josh Hart receiving his first bucket here at the free throw line, and now they're up by two. Here's Garland, and Mitchell for three. Good three pointer outside, and they have got it tied up with two. And he's on a three point line. No challenge call. Yeah, he was on a three point line. That won't count it as a lead. Now it's still tied up. RJ Barrett on Brunson. Over to Mark Mitchell Robinson. Fates a shot. Goes right over to Josh Clark. Don Fabio is a head coach for the New York Knicks. As able to make his team to the playoffs. After right now, they're ready to get this fouled up to play against the Miami Heat. The eighth seed beating the first seed of the upset run. And you know, this happened to be like March Madness in the game. We, we never saw that coming. And I really like it when their hustle is inbounding. I like it when they have it in there. Right now, Darius Garland receiving another basket layup drive. And he's got a wound to go. Every team, they made that one a good stoppable run. They're just getting a lot of a heavy strength. In between his own, so they're very really good. Here's Robinson. Gets a little bumped up by Jared Allen, but he makes a rebound. Here's Garland back to Okoro. Watching the play run. And rebound here by R.J. Barrett. Barrett's got his first rebound of the game, and Brunson. In the paint, the drive shot. Good for Jalen Brunson. First bucket in the game. Down the free furry left to go in the first period. Here's Darius Garland. Covered up by Jalen Brunson. Allen with the screen. Two-time stop by Mitchell Robinson. And that's what you call that one here. Mitchell Robinson got a great block of it. Well done with the, the better play on the defense. Randall back to Brunson. He swings it off to Hart. Back on the outside is Brunson. Here's the two for Randall. Good two over Desmond Wayne. He's got his first bucket and second. They're two point ahead of us, and right now it's only under three minutes to go in the first period. Here's Okoro on the outside, back over to Garland and Okoro. Barrett on him, trying to make a move over to Wade. Wade pass to Garland. Garland pass to Mitchell for the two, and a basket counts in for Mitchell. And the timeout will be called by New York. Let's have a look at how they did with the injury of Evan Mobley. 
because he has already been banned out and we will see what happens here. Guys, who do you have and what happened to Evan Mobley? Thanks, me phone. As right now we are looking for Evan Mobley here right towards the line with the drive, right towards on Julius Randle. This is what the play was in the bounding. Yeah, and as you see right from towards here, when he gets right in front of a piece of it, he was right towards with the D, right up and over the face. But what happened over here, he was bumped out by an elbow that was definitely causing him with a foul. They would have called an offensive foul right towards the, the line. When he gets the layup with the shot, he was right in it. He bumbled it out. His chest was ruined. He wasn't able to make this one clear that he wasn't going to get there right at the single digit. And this was very difficult for Mo Mobley to get in there. Because when he had that one in there, bumped out, he was hitting for the chest very badly. And he was rumbling for the floor and said, oh, it doesn't feel good for me. Not so good. And Julius Randle did not see it coming right now, right towards him from the line. And he said, are you okay? Is everything going all right? Well, he should have made that comment already. Just like, like not giving up here, not leaving him alone. He was saying like, oh, shoot, shoot are you okay? Well, I never see what's going on with Evan Mobley. He's kind of like having a little bumbled up already. And they're all just saying, everybody get out of the way. Because right now, the man is already down here on the floor. They may have to just replace it with another player. Well, it's been a great season here for Evan Mobley. He was missing it out from his last rage mid year since he was never injured five games in a row. But now, in game six, he's bumped out. And with that one, he's already out for today's game. We'll keep your eyes on it shortly right at this moment because there might be a lot of changeup that could be happening here. And with that one being said here with the gaming statistics of the team comparison to box scores, Jared Evan Mobley had made that one a lot of tough one of his rip injury. So we'll have to wait on that one here because he might be not able to make this one in time. So with that one, we'll have to find out what will happen here. Back to you, Rifo. New changeups are coming in for the New York Knicks. Only Toppin is checked in along with the other 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 players. Their gross is checked in. Four players checked out of City Osmond, Danny Green, Kara Silver, and Ricky Rubio checked in. The Knicks are also making new changes as all five players are checked out. Arnstein, Grimes, and Quickly are checked in. Here's Grimes towards the baseline. Pass broken up. City Osmond with a steal. Osmond looking it over with the open player on the offside. Onside is Green. Lever outside. Osmond towards on top it. Two minutes. Two minutes to go in the first period of the game. And Rubio finishes the drive with his right hand. Yeah, that's an excellent perfect, perfect layup on this game. Because they're really out and bounding with the offense to make that one a lot, lot harder than you think. They really are an adoption. Here's Hardenstein on Jared Allen. Now finds Grimes. Grimes switching over to the Rose. Here's a free for quickly. Three pointer missed the market. First three pointer missed for New York Knicks. Here's Lever. Fades. Good layup drive. And made that one a count bucket score with two. Now you see what Karis LeBert does, he sometimes make a fade out of it, just go with the layup. He said, nope, I'm just going with the reverse layup drive. This was very uh, difficult that they, nobody has ever done it before. And a miss here by, by Quickly. And Quickly is definitely missing it too much anyway. Here's Rubio on Derek Rhodes. Green on Allen. Inside Rubio, he's fouled, bucket and one. Derrick Rose has his first person of the foul, and Rookie Rubio's got a second bucket of the night. Right now, the first foul is called on Derrick Rose, their second team foul. Only one shot left for Rookie Rubio. Yeah, that better play of this drive has turned out to be way unstoppable. They were really saying, yes, let's go, Rookie Rubio. They were saying it aloud. Nothing gonna happen, nothing gonna make you feel uncomfortable. Ricky Rubio, good at the free throw line. New York, trailing by seven. Here's Derek Rose, he now spins it off to Toppin. Toppin swing it over again to Ross, now again to Grimes. Grimes swings to Ross. Outside is Quickly. Quickly on the fast break, now finds Grimes over again to Rhodes. Just five minutes shot clock. Finds Hardenstein. And a good scoop drive over around Alec. He's got his first bucket of the game and Rose with the assist. 
They're just getting it locked and started here in the first period. They're getting a little bit killed right behind it. Here's Rubio on Rawls. Rose, I should say. Ricky Rubio almost went deflected. Osmond for two. Rebounded up. And Allen will finish the drive. That better play man in the middle was pretty out a lot successful than he has. That better one has to be right. Just down to 10 seconds left in the first period. Here's Grimes on the outside. Vines Ross, Rose, free on a shot, game clock, Rose for the boss beater, and he missed a two-point shot ability. The score keeps on coming down and it's going. They trail by seven. We'll get, take a quick break and we will be back at the garden right after this. Tuning in for the second period, we got the second quarter in play. Right now, Cleveland Cavaliers up by seven and ten for the New York Knicks. They're really seeming that we haven't seen Cleveland Cavaliers making it to the second round in this playing game. Because the last time in the last playoffs, they lost against the Milwaukee Bucks here in the first round. But I might be thinking, can they do without the New York Knicks to make it to the second round? If they don't, then well, it might be very uncomplicated to find out what will they do. Because they're very that good in the team, they really are starting to put a shovel on that one. And I really say because they know that New York Knicks have made it to the second round for this season, and without anybody asking, how are you never going to make it? Because they're really that tough to try to pick them up from the game. They're really that tough in offense. They really are showing the pride. Isaac Okoro making the three-pointer was a terrific sight. Here's our Miller Brunson around Darius Garland. Shots good. Good pass here by Josh Hart. Here's Garland. Passes over to Mitchell. 5.15 left to go in the first half of the period. Allen towards the corner. Three for Mitchell. And no good on a range out target. It has nothing to do about when you were ever able to play it out of here. You want to get that right, you got to get that one correct. It's because what everyone does, they need to get this one right in the setup chain, and that's what exactly does the same. Here's Barrett on the outside, finds over Brunson, decides to go for the three. Yes, sir! He makes the three! RJ Barrett has his first three-pointer tonight. They are down by five. What a play for RJ Barrett. Looking like he's on a good run. Can he give it off a start? Mitchell finds Garland. Mitchell on Hart. Here's Wade. Hasn't scored yet in the first period. Yeah, for the period. Mitchell outside. Three pointer switched in. And they have it up by 23 to 15. On the road again. I mean, I've never seen what was going on because of Donovan Mitchell was doing it once again. They've got to get that one done. In the middle, count the bucket of one, and Jared Allen receives its foul. 4.09 to go in the first half of the period. A number team foul called by Cleveland. And right now, they are putting up a one-point free throw line for Mitchell Robinson. I know what the last game is. He never made free throws earlier because he just could not make it right into the game. Right now, I'm really saying they should be letting him do this. It's his own time, and this is what everybody does. His moment of the game needs to be lived on. And got to get this one team right. And he doesn't make the free throw. Yeah, he's uncomfortable. He never played basketball before because he's really had into an off heavy traffic. He never really made it to that cut to do the free throw line, and he hasn't been practicing all day. Probably in the next season or two, might be ready to do another free throw to get better at it. Here's Brunson in the corner. Finds Mitchell Robinson. Fakes a shot. Finds Brunson. Outside with a marker. Rebound puts up by Desmond Wade. Wade's got his second rebound of the night. Here's Mitchell. Finds Allen. Way off the mark and turns it over to New York Knicks ball. What a better play. This didn't really happen like that. And a great block here for Mitchell Robinson. Right on Darius Scarlett. Now that's a better cut. I like that Mitchell Robinson was putting up a nice block. And because they know for sure, he is on a remarkable run. He's putting up a great play in this game. Three for left to go in the first half of the period. Here's Randall. 
try to watch the paint inside. Gives it off to Mitchell Robinson. That will swing it off to Josh Hart. All right. Barrett in the corner for three. Taking it back over again is Darius Scarlett. Now he finds Mitchell. Nice defense by Jalen Brunson. And Randall comes in to make the second rebound. Here's Robinson. Finds R.J. Barrett. He feeds it to Brunson. With a try. Scooping in front and makes that one as a two-point connection feed. That's what it, they all call it. Jalen Brunson. Best point guard position. And that was a mobile one drive for Jalen Brunson. A number 2K TV drive. I like it when the drive is impossible in the range. We love to see the new highlights. I like it when this happens. Alright, let's have a closer look at David Aldrich. He did have a report here for Evan Mobley. He definitely did notice he has stopped to his team. And his management will not be able to return to the game. For the next part of the game, as right now, Evan Mobley will be out for the rest of the periods in each game. All right, thanks for the update, Jeremy Fong. I really appreciate it, and also the David Aldridge up to. Timeout called by Cleveland Cavs with 2.20 to go. They are down by one. And let's have a look at your upcoming game for the second round, as right now the first game will be happening here for tomorrow night's game. First we have the across from the border, the inbounding, we have the Boston Celtics facing against the ball, against the league, sorry, Philadelphia 76ers, Boston Celtics against the Philadelphia Sixers. Their first game will be happening at TD Garden Arena for the first game and second game. A rival team back in the regular season before, they've never seen it playing here back in the playoff position. The inbound is definitely a track top. But you know what? Let's have someone credit out there. Sometimes they win, sometimes they lose. Never happens to be. It's all about having fun. Yeah, you just go have to go with the better team. And definitely on occasionally, we definitely do want to see what the Sixers have. And the Boston Celtics, they are definitely inbounding ball. And on the other side right now for our number tonight game, we've got another one part of a hockey of the Stanley Cup playoffs. As we're about to be seeing the next game in between. In between the Bruins and the Bolts. That'll be happening here just a couple days before we get back into the Stanley Cup playoffs. That'll be happening here on Son of Beast. So make sure you catch up for each game. And later for tonight, we will be seeing what the Game 7 will be. Winnipeg Jets, Minnesota Wilds, then Edmonton Oilers on LA Kings, and then the other side we have is Hurricanes and Islanders, and finally, with another one we will be seeing, the next part of the matchup, the Kraken and the Knights. They are tied up in the series, and this run, this is going to be a lot of us, Game 7 on a street run, and a block by Hardenstein! Here's Rose, finds a pass to Oni Toppin, around CD Osmond is good, makes a fake shot, Oni Toppin's got his first bucket. What a play for Oni Toppin, really got a good down on the bar. You can go for that one, can make that one a lot, a great moment. Here's Danny Green, passes to CD Osmond, and hits off the rim and makes it into the basket. City Osmond's got his first bucket of the game. Well, I've never seen what the bouncing looks like. This was a very tough one to keep it inside towards the paint. I've never seen what was going on. Rose passes to quickly. Passing over to Oni Tuffet. Now pass over again to Rose. Back to Grimes with the shot clock. Rebounded it. And good stuff by Jared Allen. He's making his second rebound of the game. Here's Green on Hurt inside. Screen lost it, and Green lost the ball. He makes that one another rebound for Hardenstein. Now here's Rose back the other way. Free for Grimes comes up short, and rebound comes in for City Osbit. No matter what you do, because you have to play the better on the offense. This is what they really need to get there. Every time when you make that rebounding, it's a trap fence to make that one efficient. It's very that difficult. Don't let the other players get up there with a short hand on the rebound. It's very tough, but don't get yourself uncomfortable. After a foul called by Derek Rose, Garris Levert's at the free throw line shooting two. We're adding another free throw percentage here for the Cleveland Cavaliers with 36.8 to go.
LeVert, it's the first free throw. Karis LeVert's definitely one of the better men in the vanish here. They, they've been ever playing it before, back with the Indiana Pacers. But now his moment has really changed because now his team is right into the mound to take another look at the crack of it for Karis LeVert. He's been one of the better players here since we know it for sure. They were definitely a better advantage to take from the current point. I like when Karis LeVert keeps on training. And he hits his second free throw down for Karis LeVert. Knicks trail by six. Here's Tony Toppin. Face a shot. Goes right over to Grimes. On the outside is Derek Rose. Receiving the bounce pass to quickly. Finds Hardenstein. Face a shot. Right over to Oni Toppin. Around the yes. Oh! Oni Toppin slammed that down. Shows who's the boss. Oh, you never saw what anybody knows. He's like. Well, 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 I never know what's going on. And I just say, he's very in a good stop. Here's a grind to take the layup. And no good here. And so, it's the Cavaliers, 3 by 4. 29 to 25 is your score. Now time for Allie LaForce to stand by on the sideline. Here you, Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom, David Allen Tom. What's it going to take down the stretch to win this ballgame? Just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. All right, Allie, thank you. We'll be right back with the halftime show after this. Stay tuned. we got the third quarter coming up. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, folks. Welcome to the NBA 2K Halftime Show. All over me and Paintbrush, let's have a look at what the first half is. All right. With a good start of the first half of the game, the Cleveland Cavaliers are always been on the run to take on with the better pressure of the game. And you know, this is what everybody really loves of how they did. Let's start off with you, Paintbrush. How do the Cleveland Cavaliers will do for the next part of their round? Well, they've been practicing a lot of them. Every team in position is very turning out to be a right call. I know when you're thinking, they might be putting up a lot of digital numbers on the outside. Hopefully they can stay alive. And how have you, OJ, for the New York Knicks? Well, this could be a very difficult run. The other situation they are showing, they must have respect. Every time that they have it off in, they might have to keep it going, they just gotta like show up again. They really need to push it up. And that about wraps it up for the halftime show. Now we send you back to Meepo and the crew. See you all later for the post-game show. Adios! Welcome back to the Madison Square Garden, as right now we are about to set up the third quarter in action. Now as we are about to be seeing, the team of the Cavaliers are up by four. It's a win or go home for the New York Knicks. Here the courtesy lineup is fueled up by Gatorade, all filled up and we are ready to go for the second half. The courtesy lineup is being here, we have a Jalen Brunson, right towards the corner. Then it's Julius Randle towards the point forward position. Ben Mitchell Robinson is in the center. Along the outside of a run, we have his R.J. Barrett. And, J and Josh Hart is on a shooting guard position by Okoro. Here's Okoro on, on R.J. Barrett. Finds outside for Mitchell. The three pointers off the mark, and Randall receives his third rebound. Every play in transition, they're all calling for Julius Randall. They just really got to get there. Barrett right over to Brunson. Brunson swing it up and cross again to Hart. Hart pays a shot. But it's Randall up in over Island. And makes a drive and tied the game up by 29. Great pass by Josh Hart. He has made it his second assist of the game. It's good to eyes to keep the communication rolling. Because Josh Hart got a good eye perfection here but without being turned over. Mitchell finds Wade. Randall's on the cover. Finds Darius Garland on the outside. Screen on Jared, Jared Allen. Step back. Oh, free time in a row for Mitchell Robinson. Oh, they're saying Mitchell Robinson. Can you feel that? They are really in a good bounding. It's stolen by Donovan Mitchell. Free for a Coro. Another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. Randall passes over to Brunson. He finds Julius Randall. Barrett on the outside. Barrett swings over again to Julius Randall. Inside his own. Barrett finds Randall. Five on the shot clock. Crown Wade, good! And a Randall drive puts it in up by two. 
That's his first bucket to make the lead up by two. They're very good in the offense. They really are showing a love and support. All they can say was, they're doing the best things they can. Time on call by Cleveland Cavaliers. They will decide to talk it over. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official official chip of the NBA. Mountain Dew, do the do. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote down. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Coming up later tonight, we've got another one here for game number six, as right now the Clippers are back home to play against the Phoenix Suns. Right now their series is three and two of the series here in the game, and they're looking to beat the upset here on the Phoenix Suns. Since we've seen them playing in the Western Conference Finals in 2021, this was the last part of a game that they have ever made it before. And a close game happens to be the Clippers beating the Utah Jazz with an upset run. Now, with the total summarized, I'm thinking the Clippers should go with the better slug. It, it doesn't mean, like, they don't want to do this at all. We, we have no rights to do this one year, near me, fun, because they're very on the top occasionally, but they wanted to get to say they want the topic of the run. They are just getting it right then started. And without any questions asked, they might have to figure it out how will they do better if they're going to keep it going. Right now with the foul is called on Julius Randle. He receives his first personal and the number team foul called by New York. Isaac and Flores on the free throw line shooting two with a drive in the paint. Now that's not a better play in the offense. You don't want to try to take the authentic run to try to leave it over with the mark. That's going to be a tough one. You don't want that one to be showing like you never mean it. Right now, the free throws putting up another percentage for the Cleveland Cavaliers with only 4-1 to go. He makes the first free throw. Isaac Okoro definitely seemingly that he wants to give this one a good run of ability. He's going to have a great play in this game and try to make this as a rookie player. Well, as you better seen for Isaac Okoro, he was able to do one of his own timing a step on step. I know he was very good terrific. And good in the second free throw. And the better transition, they have in a lot of them, and they just need to give this one a better uh, rookie credit. He finds Barrett Brunson. Tries to look over with the open man advantage run. Barrett's on the outside, finds over Josh Hart. Decide to take the three. He get it back. Brando back to over to Robinson. Josh Hart fades the three. And Barrett, he finds Mitchell. Robinson with the two. Nice D on Jared Allen. He's picking up his fourth rebound of the game. And now Osmond towards the center. Watching a drive. And Osmond shot. Can't get it to go. He's losing a shot out there. Just can't believe in what he was going to do. He finds over Hart. Hart, pass over to Brunson. And Hart tries again. Second three-pointer, no good. You can't add your three-pointers outside because this will keep on missing if you're going in there. And Allen, nobody around him. And he makes that with a dunk to put up a lead. There are a lot of lead changes in between the Cavaliers and the Knicks. Yeah, they're very that well all again. They just really never saw that one coming. Here's Robinson, pass over to Brunson. Gives it right over to R.J. Barrett. Just down to six on the shot clock. Brunson for the three. Robinson on the back. And open shot for Barrett. Swoosh down. He makes the first three-pointer to make the lead. And now he has six points in the game. Oh, man, R.J. Barrett, can you feel that? That's a lot of a great successful moment to pick it up in the drive. He's bumped out as Julius Randle makes his second personal foul, second team foul, and a number of no ones for New York. RJ Barrett never seen what was going on, but that one three-pointer, he was like way wide open. The batter of the corner in the middle, I, I think that Julius Randle is like putting up too much fouls on him. It's going to be hard to put it on top. 
Free throw coming up for Jared Allen as right now stop the clock at 2.15 to go. He makes the first free throw. Now the new changeups are coming in for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Green, Levert, and Ruby Green, Ricky Rubio are checked in. As right now, the Knicks are also making new changes. Brunson's checked out, and right now Mitchell Robinson is out. Grimes, Quickly, and Hardenstein are checked in. And he gets the second free throw. Their team is up by one. Quickly moving it over to Boy Randall. Randall up in the top. Good shot made. No foul called on C.D. Osmond. He is as a never leading advantage for Julius Randall. Two minutes left to play in the third quarter of the game. Levert on Grimes. Here's Green for three. Another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. They're making too many three pointers in the game, and they wanted to get right ahead of him to try to lead up the score to try to stay out the pressure. Just quickly, try to watch him carefully, and Grimes on the outside. Here's Barrett for three. Three in a row. Makes that one a nine point game, and that's his number in a jersey. Yeah, that'd be the same thing because RJ Barrett just keeps on rolling. Oh, yeah, RJ Barrett, can you say that I am seeing the three pointers this game? They are just doing the best as they can. And another free throw, another layup drive missed for Jared Allen. Here's Hardenstein. Leaves it over to quickly. New change up in the motion. Now he finds Jared Bar RJ Barrett. He finds quickly on the outs. Grimes and now quickly back the other way. Back to Grimes. Free again. And nine points was this total. And quick back in for Julius Randle. He has 16 points in the game. They're saying that Julius Randle was putting up a lot of the fight back and the rebound because he was really well to make a setup change to make a comeback again. Ricky Rubio on, on Isaiah quickly. Down to 30 seconds to play. Hardenstein rechecks the shot. Rhymes over to RJ Barrett. Here's Randle. Oh! oh! Wow! Julius Randle! I never see what you're making a dunk like that. Well, that was a horrific one. I say that. Julius Randle. <laughs> This is like a fantastic part of the game that everyone's ever in a scene game. I like it when he makes that slam. That was your excellent offensive but aggressive drive dunk presented by AT&T 5G, the Slam Cam. Now the new changeup is put in the way. Hardenstein got a good rejection. Mitchell Robinson and Hardenstein are the best center guards in position. Yeah, when you call that one here, Hardenstein can just try to reject the ball right away. They are just doing the best as they can. Now the new changes are coming in. As City Osmond's checked out, and as Isaac Okoro is checked back in. The Knicks are also making new changes here as Randall's checked out. And back in the game is only top it. Barrett on the outside to beat it. And comes up short for the layup drive. And so it's a New York Knicks 43-35. Looking for a beating at this game. When we come back, we'll have the fourth quarter ready. And we're about to tune in for the fourth quarter of the game. 43 and 35. It has been a tremendous night since we've seen the great start for the Cleveland Cavaliers. But now, the New York Knicks are coming back in to make the comeback rally more successful. And as we're tuned up, we are all set for the final quarter. Darius Garland's in the point guard position. And across from here, we have his Karis Levert in the shooting guard. And Jared Allen's in the center guard on Robinson. And Mitchell is on Hart. And finally, we have his Isaac Okoro on Odie Toppin. Odie Toppin receives a drive, and they're up by 10. The perfect drive to better position for Oni Toppin to go up and over. A great mobile one drive for Oni Toppin. Here's Mitchell on the outside, Hart on him. He finds a Okoro back over to Levert. Grinds is on him. Screen change, Allen, and Levert seemingly getting right around the roll, but he still has it up two-pointer again. 
the same that Paris Levert has should have been able to make his team out of there. And this is what the, the tricky drive in the zone. They never called a foul on the New York because this was a hard, tricky setup to maintain. They just had it right away. Back again over to Brunson with the finish, scooping the little fingertip rule, and he has another two point bucket score. Eight for Brunson, and now they're up by 10. Darius Garland passes over to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell finding a pass over to Jared Allen on LeVert. LeVert swinging it over another screen. LeVert on him. Step back two. Two pointer misses. The rebound put it back by Garland for three. And then a miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. Mitchell Robinson receiving his fifth rebound of the game in game number six. Now he finds over Jalen Brunson. Brunson back over to Hart. Here's Grimes on the outside. Looking over to Oni Tape. Almost lost the ball. Finds Hart. Finishes. The drive puts in. Oni Tape with a six. Hart has his second bucket of the night. He was quiet all alone. I know he was definitely doing really well in the first half. But don't get me wrong, because that cover was putting up way too much. And another miss by Cleveland for Karis LeVert. Odie Tobin back over to Grimes. Grimes switches over to Brunson. Brunson swings to Hart. Hart passes to Brunson. Brunson passes over to Robinson. He finds Grimes. Five on a shot clock. With a two. And no good in the two-point free throw. Here's Isaac Okoro finding it there, Gary Scarland. And no good again. Then man, they're just missing it. Craziness again. They just really want to come back here and put a rally in to make that one play come to a successful making in mount. Grimes in the middle. To finish it, the drive is good for Grimes. He finally receives his first bucket. Mitchell with the ball to defend the arc, and he had that two-pointer in just good as he get. Now the next time I will be called by New York Knicks with 2.38 to go. They're trying to get back down by almost about 20, 28, but they might have another way to get this right over on the alley side to try to make a run. Well, they sure do. They might need to do this one at better successful range. They have to get over this to get it done. Once again, coming up will be the Clippers and the Suns. This will be happening here at Crypto.com Arena as standing by will be the commentary of Son of Beast along with Nickel and Life Ray. Right now with the next part of it as we will be seeing the Stanley Cup playoffs. Right now the Bolts are playing against the Bruins in the second round and Game 7 will be the next play to make the encouragement. After Game 7, then the second round will be starting off with the Bruins and the Bolts. On the other side, as right now, they are still looking for another player to make the offense run. With that player in motion, we might see what will happen to go with better technology. Every game, every simple get, they've got to see who they're going to face against. But as the Avalanche will be facing against the winning team in between the Winnipeg Jets and the Wilds. Have some time now to present your New Balance player of the game. Darius Garland. Darius Garland seemed to have done a lot much better than the, than the last season because this was the only team that had done it before with the best technology to put up with the uh, help on offense to pick up their ride. Here's RJ Barrett in the corner. Finds over Robinson and reaching foul calls on Jared Allen. As we have a report from Allen LaForce, as right now Mitchell Robinson has grown up playing in basketball. He never really caught on, and he never really wants to keep on going with the game. This better part of the offense really is keeping it a lot with a lot of huge stuff in the run. And with maintaining his way, Mitchell Robinson may have another choice option to try to play right inbound it. And this is where it will come right towards the game to end it off. Another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers. Or on the outside. The Knicks fans are showing loud and proud. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter of the period. And Brunson looking over again. Pass to Hart back to Barrett. Barrett passes again to Hart. 
high on the shot clock. Here's Brunson. Over Green. Put a rebound. Finishes it with the right hand to make the layup drive. Mitchell Robinson receives his six points in the game. 55 and 39. Here's Mitchell on hard. Back over to Berlin, over to Okoro. Okoro on RJ Barrett. Here's Mitchell on the outside. Looking for the point. Screen on Allen. Step back to rebound again by Randall. That's number 13 for Julius Randall. Oh man, that pressure is putting up a killer. It looks like the Cleveland Cavaliers will be at home in trouble. Robinson, pass back to our Julius Randle. We'll have to switch it off to R.J. Barrett. Down to three. All right, over the bucket, scores! R.J. Barrett receives six points, and R.J. Barrett with the six. Down to the last minute of play in the fourth quarter in game six. Mitchell Robinson on Josh Hart. Eater screen on Randall. Randall looking over with the ball movement. Pass to Mark Garland. Back to Green. And goaltending calls and a foul. Ooh. That's tricky. I'm thinking that could be a goaltending and that could be a first pointer. They all have to count that bucket in. So yeah, there is the call. If you get a goaltending and the foul is called, they will be count bucket in. And right now, Dan Danny Green is at the free throw line shooting one. Yeah, I never see him uh, shooting it that way. But you know, Darius Garland was saying that Danny Green was making a drive. But in that one, the projection was going to make that call right away. They're saying Darius Garland said, that's goaltending. And there's your call. That's what offense say. They have that one in there to try to stop the players from getting with the inbound with the goaltending hitting off the, hitting off the glass board. Green makes a free throw line. Last changeup, we have Miss McBride. He finds Hardenstein. Now he'll switch back to McBride. Over to Hardenstein, back to McBride. Here's Fournier. Pass to Hardenstein. Around Green. Good! Hardenstein makes another bucket score. He finally has four. And the Knicks are going wild here in the fourth game, sixth game of the season. Stevens on the outside, back over to Neto. Last possession here for the Cavaliers. Stevens, up! Shot no good. And they will close out with the Knicks win. 59 and 42 is your final score. What a game. And now they're back in to play at Cleveland. Yeah, this is what everyone does. They say, New York Knicks, we are coming in back to Cleveland. And we are ready to get this thing on the roll. I know. Tough ones in. Never quit in New York. And now time right now to send you over to Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Julius, it wasn't always smooth sailing tonight, but you guys got it done. How did you feel about the level of play coming down the stretch? Uh, absolutely amazing. You know, there's ups and downs in the season, but, you know, one thing is we're going to play hard every night and give ourselves a chance. So, you know, we did that for most of the night, but, you know, we did an amazing job today. The effort certainly was not lacking tonight. Thanks, Julius. All right, Ali, thank you. And now we'll wrap it up here for the NBA playoffs in the first round. Along with MeFone and Fan and Testu, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. We'll see you all again back in Cleveland for the final game in the first round. See you all later. Until next time. All right, MeFone, thank you so much. As right now with the team, the New York Knicks are back in again to rally up for the Game 7 in back in Cleveland. This is the toughest game that everyone was thinking of. Fourth and fifth seed is a tough matchup. Yeah, I agree with you. You know, this one's another part of the game, as we all call for. The, uh, the Cavaliers been out there for just a long time. And definitely noticing just like the same thing with New York Knicks. Well, we better see what the New York Knicks could do. Because if they play against the Heat, it's a tough one to make the matchup. The wild ending. We better see the New York Knicks win, and if they don't, they will lose, and Cleveland Cavaliers will be playing against the Milwaukee Bucks for the 2K Sports in the second round. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 57% for the field goal effort, and 27% for the three-pointers for the Knicks. 
and only 100% free throw for Cleveland Cavaliers, along with the fast break points for 5. Points in the paint was the Knicks, 44. Second chance was 9. Bench points for the Cavs was 16. The Knicks had 24 assists to the game, good run on a starting authentic drive, and finishing. It's not how you start, it's about how you finish. That's right. I know this was happening here most of the time. Offensive rebound put it up at 8, and defense rebound for 25. Four steals for Cleveland Cavaliers. Five blocks for the New York Knicks for Mitchell Robinson and Hardenstein. Bench, these two are the best centers in the guard. I know they are. They done a great job. Putting up a leg of magic to make it work. One turnover puts up a points off for four for Cavaliers and team fouls were less. Five for the New York Knicks. Dunks was three in a row for the New York, along with the biggest lead of 18 and 13 17 was your time of possession for the New York Knicks. They only had two timeouts remaining for the Cleveland Cavaliers to close the game out, but they decided that it's getting away. They decided not to take one. Yeah, every time they got their players, they really say that that's the end. They have it all down there. Nothing but you haven't known. And now to close it off for the three star players of the game, let's start off with me first, and then we can go to OJ. Good idea. All right, let's have a look what they did. Your first star of the player goes out to R.J. Barrett. He makes 9 points to the shot, 3 rebounds, and 6 assists in the game. Only received 21 performance effort. 3 points were made, and that's what he does. Successful in beating. On now to number 2. Here's how they did it here with the next part of the game. This one goes out to Donovan Mitchell with, with a better game at a successful moment. Not this guy, but Jared Allen receives 10 points, 8 rebounds, and 1 assist. He only had performed 2 dunks and 12 performances. But the better of this drive, the center man definitely can reach the ball as long as he can. And now to number 1. Well, the number 1 player I have to read a job. This was successful. Julius Randle receives 18 points, 13 rebounds, and the assist. He just got 2 dunks of performance and made 20 performance effort here in Game 6. This was the best one that they have ever counted. I know. Talk about that one, dear. They're doing a lot that better than the last game in Game 4. I know they do. And while well, it's being said, I hope everybody's enjoying your part of the NBA playoffs. And right now, stay tuned. we got the Clippers and the Suns at Crypto.com Arena back in L.A. And right now, in an instant, we hope you all enjoyed us for the part of the Knicks and the Cavaliers. And then following along with the next game, we will see... What we will can do, the Celtics and the Sixers at Boston. Follow along with the Warriors and the Lakers here at Chase Center in San Francisco. That will be the first two games coming up here for later for tomorrow's game. That will be the next one coming in. And following along with the next few days, we will have a next team to make them all count for. We have the Bolts and the Bruins here at Boston playing in a TD Garden Arena. But it won't be enough to make that one countable because this will be the tough one to be on a doubleheader for Boston to play. That's exactly true because they just need to say they gotta get to work. Well, as we're right now, Paintbrush along with OJ. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. See you all again for the later game. And those of you who are not, thanks for watching. Take care, folks, and great night in the Big Apple of New York City. And also along, with Cleveland Love here at The Rock. See you again next time. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.